Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear today. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 7th of March, 2023, time here in Marseille. France is, what time is it now? 3.33 p.m., okay. <laughs> 3.33, so that's your angel number. Go check it out if you want to. All right, let's get your reading started. Gemini spirits and angels, please show me important love messages that Geminis need to hear today. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person whom we could be thinking about or dealing with. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Not a ones at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. And here you are, King of Swords here in reverse. Doesn't matter, King or Queen is not gender specific. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Hmm. Something is in the works. I uh, feel like with the High Priestess here, Gemini. This is meant to be. This is destiny. This is fate. Although this person is coming in slowly with the Knight of Pentacles here, it feels like even though it's very slow, but then once, once it hits that spot, hope that makes sense to you. It's very slow, but once it hits that spot, it just takes off because of the Knight of Wands here. So that means although this is slow, Gemini, it could be either very sudden, somebody suddenly realizes that he or she is actually passionate about you, a friend that turns romantic, or it could be Gemini, some of you, you feel like your love life is moving very slowly, but it's moving very slowly, but then suddenly there's someone, there's someone who comes in and it's gonna, things are gonna move very fast, faster than what you would have anticipated, okay? That's what I'm sensing here. And again, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you could be in a same gender relationship. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon in Reverse, and the Five of Cups. If you've been feeling really sad, disappointed about your past relationships or past marriages, if you have been married before, I feel like the Moon in Reverse indicates that you're going to come out from this phase of sadness, insecurities, or fear. And then there's a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, Gemini. So maybe this is already happening right now, or it's coming in, Ace of Pentacles, a new offer, new love offer that's very committed, that looks like it's sustainable, looks like it's gonna go far. There's longevity associated to Pentacles because it's, it's a coin, it's something hard, it's a metal, so it's also a an earth energy, earth element, so very earthy, very stable. And right next to it is the King of, uh, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles here. So there is an offer coming in. Although this person, I think this person is going to surprise you. Okay, so maybe it's surprised because this could be a friend again, or that this person may seem as though they are boring, or they may seem as though they are like way too predictable or stable. But then to your surprise with the nine of wands, actually really good in bed, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here at Gemini for some of you. And I've heard of these stories before, you know, like uh, like some of my friends will tell me that they're surprised that this person is actually really good in bed. And you wouldn't be able to tell from the outside um, the way they speak, the way they act, the way they dress. So that's the idea that I'm getting right now, the notion of, um this person the idea of how you know because these two are knights i'm sensing unless there are two people coming into your life that's for some of you yeah two options but for a lot of you gemini it could be this person you know the high priestess here can indicate quietness stillness can indicate secrets as well so maybe this person is actually secretly a freak in bed okay 
behind closed door. But on the outside, they look like they've got a stable job or that they, they look like they're trustworthy. Not saying that they're not trustworthy, but it has more to do with how they present themselves on the outside. It may not be how they truly are on the inside or behind closed door. And the Nine of Wands, you know, is a very passionate energy. So it could be some kink that they may have. This person may be kind of kinky <laughs> behind closed door. So I think it will catch you by surprise, this person. Uh, and we've got the Fool here in reverse and the Two Swords in reverse. See, another thing I'm getting, this person is actually a risk taker. Don't be, don't be, um, don't be fooled with a full hair reverse. Don't be fooled by the way this person looks. This person may even wear glasses. I'm seeing somebody wearing glasses. They even wear glasses, may seem nerdy or may seem kind of, you know, definitely not one of those like player looking type. Because again, the high process is something that is hidden and this person actually takes risks in life or behind closed doors. A very decisive person too, two of swords here in reverse. And, and king of swords in reverse. You're going to be like, oh my god, I didn't see that coming. Because it's unclear when it's in reverse. Like, I didn't see that coming at all. And four of swords. You're going to spend some time ruminating over how this person was to you behind closed doors okay so i think it's a good thing i don't see it as a bad thing um gemini again i see strongly for some of you could be in a same gender relationship but this is what you're going to be encountering gemini or that you already know this person okay let's see more Nine of Swords in one first, Five of Pentacles, and then Nine of Wands. You're going to think, uh, Gemini, that uh, you're going to be the one who's better in bed. You're going to be the one who's going to like teach this person something, but it's the other way around. It feels like this person is going to teach you instead. And Nine of Swords here is in one first. So see, you didn't see that coming. This person literally makes you or will be making you... Uh, hit on the brake and go like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so we've got the Knight and the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands again, now facing each other, okay? For some of you, it is someone you haven't been speaking with who secretly would like to speak with you, right? Take actions towards you, but there are some hesitations here because feeling like Five Pentacles perhaps that they are going to be left out in the cold, that you're going to reject them, that you're going to be, that maybe you're not going to talk to this person. This could be entirely a different person, uh, Gemini, for some of you. It feels like there's someone who has been thinking a lot about you, but afraid that you're going to reject them if they were to reach out to you, unless it's you, Gemini, afraid that this person is going to reject you. See, we've got the Queen of Swords here in reverse, then we've got the King of Swords here in reverse. So, there's someone you're not speaking with right now that I think is thinking a lot about you. Both of you could also be thinking a lot about each other. I feel something about feeling left out in the cold here, five pentacles. And some harsh words could have been exchange of passive aggressiveness, okay? Let's uh, pull out a few of these romance angels. attraction for some of you you're going to be see you're going to be very attracted to this person whoever this person is that's coming in or is already in your life right now that you this person is going to surprise you and it's going to make you feel much more attracted to them and the free yourself it feels a little bit sexual to me right now this person may have or, may, or will be making you realize or that there's certain things that you're capable of doing or feeling when you're with them. Keep an open mind. So this person just blows your mind. I feel this person is going to blow your mind and you wouldn't expect this at all. There are new things that you're going to discover of yourself, 
again, things that you could be feeling or capable of doing thanks to this person. This person will teach you something here with the high priestess, okay? Love yourself first, unless it's you teaching this person and you're blowing this person's mind instead, okay? Love yourself first is definitely encouraging to love yourself first, but this is also how you're going to be pleasuring yourself, how this person pleasures you, makes you feel loved. And then we've got healing family issues, romantic feelings. So I see, um, I see a love blossoming, romantic feelings that are going to blossom between the two of you here. And both of you, I feel like maybe introduced by a family member or both of you may have known each other before or heard, or heard of each other before. Could also have secretly kind of admired each other at one point in time, okay? Unless this is a prediction of how you're going to secretly admire this person for his or her capabilities to make you feel a certain way that is very different, okay? Gemini, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I'm going to upload two... Uh, sorry, not upload. Uh, feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. Take care, Gemini. Bye.